Falling in love is beautiful. We do it for one reason. Nothing in the world makes us feel so good. Don't! Don't! That hurts! Oh, poor Kate, let me make it better. Ow! You're ugly. You're ugly! First love is the most powerful because no one's been hurt yet. My first love was Bobby Norton. Everything he did had a sort of magic to it. The way he smiled, the way he talked, the way he walked like my favorite actor, Billy Jack. Bobby was a movie star. so hard next time. My heart just got bigger. When I look at you like this, it looks like you only have one eye. Thank you. One of the many differences between men and women when it comes to love is the need to tell the world every little detail. If you do choose to spill your guts to someone, just make sure it isn't Becky Sussman. Bobby, are you okay? How could you do it? What did I do? You told everybody, how could you do that? All my friends are making fun of me, and, and now it's over. It's over. Bobby! Bobby, I'll tell your friends I was lying. I'll let you hit me harder. Bobby? Love is a minefield. You take a step, get blown to pieces, put yourself back together again, and stupidly take another step. I guess that's human nature. It hurts so much to be alone that we all rather blow up than be single. It doesn't make the elevator go any faster, Kate. Yeah, uh, I know, but it makes me feel more involved. Are you angry? No, why? Well, I just I just heard this thing where, uh, where single women tend to be eight times angrier than married women. Maybe you should write an article about that since, you know, you're not married. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I would, but uh, I'm in the middle of writing an article on uh, married bald guys who can't get hard without Viagra. You're late. I know. Not a good day to be late. Why not? Because the Antichrist is really pissed at you. She said she wants to see you in her office right now. Oh, God. Why? Well, I'm not supposed to say. <gasps> Do you have any stretch marks? Not yet. Damn! I have a deadline on my vitamin E piece. I know that Heifer in accounting has them, but she's not talking. Does anybody have any stretch marks? 
Sit down. Oh, God. Don't get old, Kate. Old is ugly. Ugly is death. You're fired. What? Get me, Leo. Was this a joke? I mean, were you planning on turning in the article I signed to you after I read that one? Well, you said I should make the article my own, so I did. Kate. <laughs> Kate, this is a step-by-step -step description of sucking cocks. Right, actually, I, I called it a blow-by-blow. -blow. Very clever. When life sucks, so should you. Oral sex can cure depression. What the fuck are you thinking? All right, so maybe the title's a little harsh, but I found a great hook, don't you think? When I said make it your own, I meant draw from your own experiences and relationships. That's what I did. I mean, I know 10 times more about blowjobs than I do about relationships. I failed at every relationship I've ever been in. Kate, I don't know what's going on in your personal life, and I really don't give a shit. The point is, our readers still have hope. This is called Monique Magazine. Monique, my name is at stake here. It is not called Tired Old Jaded Dick Sucker Review. All right, wh what if... Mary writes the piece on perfect relationships, and I do the little thing on stretch marks. I know tons of people with stretch marks. Okay. I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. I can't cope with being fired. This is the only thing in my entire life I haven't failed at. I can, I can do the assignment. I know I can. Can you finish 2,500 happy perky words by deadline tonight? Absolutely. Then you are temporarily unfired. Thank you. Now get the fuck out of my office. Shit, shit. So are you fired? Not yet. Hey, somebody made a copy of your blowjob article and circulated it. Pretty good. So use your hands, huh? Mm -hmm. Happy, perky notes on how to find and keep that perfect man. We all want to be loved. Sometimes it doesn't even matter who loves us, as long as they make us feel less alone. What makes a relationship last forever? I guess if I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't be living alone with my four cats. They say you have to kiss a lot of frogs to get to the prince. Richard Milner was the most boring frog I ever dated. But sometimes you just have to get out of the house. The masculine and the feminine. Why, we lucked out pretty good. You know, my mother's corns aren't usually this bad. But lucky for us, she wasn't able to walk well enough to come to the show. It's haunting, don't you think? What? Oh, the paintings, they're pretty disturbing. You think? Well, if I had a kid, definitely wouldn't put one of these up in his bedroom. Unless I hated them. Man, my father would have hung stuff like this from my ceilings. He hated me. You know, my mother hated me, too. And she used to tell me I was dying of cancer when I was four. Yeah. Always sent me into these deep depressions, you know, which is exactly what she wanted, because then I wouldn't ask her to make me lunch. And yeah, she hated it when I bugged her for food and stuff. Hey, uh, would you like a champagne? What? Uh, a champagne. Would you like one? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. talk to you for a minute? Sure. In the corner? In the corner? <laughs> I, I don't like the middle of rooms. So just, just come in the corner. Nobody's behind you in the corner. Just... Okay. Yeah. 
So who's that guy you're with? What guy? Oh, uh, Richard. He's a stand-up comedian. Hey, seems funny. Is he your boyfriend? Richard? No. No, I mean, he's 30 years old and he lives with his mother. So what do you think of the paintings? Well, I love the style, but I think they're a little immature. Immature? Hmm. Oh, what makes you say that? Well, look at that one over there. Yeah? What the hell's that supposed to mean? That? I, I think that one's supposed to mean that there's a woman pulling a severed head out of her ass. Yeah, so what's the point? What do I learn from it? Maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe there's no point. You're not supposed to learn anything. I wonder what the artist looks like. He must be pretty scary with shit like that coming out of his head. Yeah, well, maybe he has a highly developed dark side that you might not be in contact with. So how long did it take you to paint that one? <laughs> oh, gosh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. You are a doll. Look at this. Thank you. Uh, uh Richard, Adam Levy. Oh, wow. Wow, you're the artist. Wow, you're the lucky guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were just getting around to discussing our future children. <laughs> right, but I don't think you can have a future together. I'm um, sorry, excuse me? See, in order to have a future, I would assume that you would need to see the person again. You're not gonna be seeing her anymore because she's my girlfriend now. What? What? Well, from the moment we laid eyes on each other, we had this immediate spark. Isn't that right? Uh, uh, Kate. Kate. Isn't that right, Kate? It's, no, actually. Oh, I, oh. It is, is this some kind of joke or? No, no, but this is two guys walk into a bar. One guy is a 30-year-old stand-up comedian who lives with his mother. Okay, could we uh, go now, please? You know what, it is women like you who turn men into weirdos. Richard. No, no, don't bother. You know, once I've been hurt, there, there's no turning back. Wow, that wasn't cool. I, I did, I made it weird. It was mean, you shouldn't have done that. I know, I know. So where should we eat? You are, without a doubt, the tallest woman I've ever met in my life. Really? Mm-hmm. Can I see your hands? I've been noticing them. You just have these, like, long E.T. fingers. Like a tree frog. Oh, my God. Oh, my, how big? Size 11. Ele size 11? Yeah, size 11. Woman size 11? Is this some kind of artist thing, focusing on people's flaws? I don't see them as flaws. I see them as God's little artistic choices. So I guess God decided to give you this abnormally large head. See? <laughs> now you know what's different about that? Because you're being shitty and mean, and I was celebrating your body, who you are. As you a were person. celebrating yeah, my body. I was. You know, I like this part of the relationship normally. And what part is that? When it's new, you know, you get to ask all the fun questions. Mm, right. And me first. Okay. Uh, what's your relationship like with your dad? Um, my dad's dead. He was hit by a car in front of me when I was six. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I don't... Just kidding. We get along great. Any brothers and sisters? It's my turn. No, I've taken your turn away. Any brothers or sisters? I have three older brothers. How many women have you slept with? Excuse me? Oh, come on. It's not like you haven't counted them. How many? I, how many men have you slept with? Not that many. Thirteen. Thirteen? Mm-hmm. As, like, thirteen different guys? Yeah. Spread out over the years, that's not so many. Aren't you gonna answer the question? Two. Okay? Two? That's it? That's it. You know, some of us actually believe in having full relationships. I know that might be hard. Hey, I believe in relationships. Mine just happen to be short ones. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I just can't. You're like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You are. 13, Jesus Christ, give me a break. So were you popular in high school? What do you think? 
<laughs> I guess that's you know, a no. You know, I don't need this shit. I really don't. I happen to have been very popular in high school. I was an artist. I used to draw all the pretty girls. I used to make them look even better than they did. They all loved me. No, they didn't sleep with me, but they, they, they loved me. <laughs> but how about you? You were probably real popular with that attitude. You must have been like the girls from Carrie. Nope. No, I had huge bug teeth and bony knees, and I slouched because I was trying to hide the fact that I hadn't grown any boobs yet. And my hair was all stringy, and everybody called me horse face. Horse face? Yeah, it suits you. Oh, you think so? Oh, I like it, yeah. You like it? Yeah. What's the longest kiss you've ever had? The longest kiss? Yeah, but you know what? Don't tell me. I'll just make me jealous. Just, just make sure this one's longer, okay? Adam was unlike any guy I'd ever known. We were instant best friends. Two people who understood each other without having to say a word. It wasn't like that at all in my first relationship. I guess it was sort of a bad idea to give up my virginity to my high school French teacher. If two people who want to be a couple of them, it is good when they are making love with each other because they feel nice, complete. What? Let's make love. Um, um, we will, Mr. Bozard, I promise. I don't think I can tonight, though. I'm not really ready yet. You are not ready because you feel you and I do not have the quality of life together with each other. I am sad for this. What? Let's make love, Jerry, please. I'm waiting for so long. Will it hurt? Do not be scary. I am there for you needing me. What? ridden horses all my life. Are you smaller than most guys? <laughs> my older man daddy phase continued on past high school and right into college. I was not a very evolved person by the time I ran into Eric. Are you okay? Are you blind? Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you? This is, oh, no, this is a brand new car. Oh my God. Well, you could have fucking killed me. What are hey, you doing? Hey, hey, okay, shh. I said I'm sorry, all right? This is our money. I said I'm sorry, okay? okay? I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't see you. What, you didn't see your... me? I didn't see you. Were you painting your fucking toenails? Man, what hey, you... listen, fuck face. I didn't see you, okay? I didn't wake up this morning and then go, oh, gee, today's the day I'm going to crash into some fucking uptight yuppie, all right? You know what, lady? Fuck you, okay? Fuck you. Fuck you! Oh, yeah? Hey. Oh, oh, shit! Fuck! Fuck, all right? There! You see that? Here! Oh, hey, I'm sorry. That. Oh, hey. Take that! Okay, break that. it up! Break That's it up! Right. Shut up! Hands behind right. your back! Get up! 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 Get So this is where writers hang out, huh? Mm-hmm. What do you write about? I'm working on a novel between my journalism classes at UCLA. Ooh. Novel, huh? Mm-hmm. What's it about? Death. Hmm. That sounds interesting. So what do you do? I work a lot with big red-ass monkeys. It's a band, you know? You know the band? Big red ass monkeys are here. I direct music videos. Isn't that the one where the uh, naked girl swims with a chimp? Ape. Right ape. Right. I guess chimps don't have those big red asses. I don't know. I never checked. <laughs> Maybe I could kiss you. Maybe later. Maybe later when? Maybe later, like in five seconds. 
five, four, three, two. three-week anniversary. Mm. You know, I think this is the longest relationship I've ever been in. Well, I'm not counting Mr. Bozard, which lasted one semester. Oh, God, did I ever tell you? Could we not talk about your high school French teacher? It really disturbs me. Okay. Good. So, what about your last relationship? Oh, God, what about it? Well, how long was it again? Five miserable years. What do you have in common? Mm, nothing. What do we have in common? We have a lot in common. Like what? Like, how many people do you know who can comfortably have sex in public places? Every guy I've ever met. Morning. You know what day today is, don't you? Sunday morning, my turn. I thought it was my turn. Nope, it's my turn. You know what? This game is idiotic. It's not spontaneous, it's scheduled. That's not true. You see, scheduled spontaneity is the key to long-term love. <laughs> uh. Don't look so happy. <laughs> I like Sundays. Oh, careful, careful. Uh, uh, mm. I, I'm not getting that. This they can wait. Come on. You get it, or you're not getting it. I can't get it. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> oh, where you going, huh? Oh, right, now you want some, don't you? All right, let's hold that thought, okay? Daddy! Daddy, guess what? I got a kitty We're and I go. named him Carrie. Come on, sweetie. Come on, mommy. Come on. Mommy. 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 Mel, will you wait? Mel. Kate. Kate. I can't explain. Kate. You come back. Please, please. Will you stop? Will you stop? What are you? I, mean, I understand how you feel, no, okay? Will no, you listen to me? No, you don't. You have no idea how anyone feels. You're a sociopath. Look, I'm planning on getting a divorce. Don't ever touch me. Kate! Daddy! Even when bad relationships end, the pain can be severe enough to screw you up for years. We all pick up a little baggage after every breakup. The hope is that when the bags start to accumulate, we're still able to drag them into the next relationship. Fortunately, when Adam and I moved in together, my carry-on baggage was fairly light. Hey, oh, let's put that one in the bedroom. I was gonna put Paul's entrails in the bedroom. No, it's better for the bathroom. If you wanna be obvious. Okay, whatever you want. Oh. I love you, horse face. I love you too. I love you. I, I mean, I love you more than I've ever loved anybody ever in my life. Where are you going? Kate? Oh, okay. okay, say it. What, why do you want me to say it again? Because it was cute and I want that cute moment saved forever. 
Honey, I, it's not gonna sound cute. It's gonna sound forced and I'm irritated. So could we just... Just say it. I love you. <laughs> horse face. I love you, horse face. I love you too. Now strip. Strip? Strip. Put the, put the toy away and we'll... Come on. Don't poke the bear in the zoo. <laughs> Come on. Don't poke the bear Take in the zoo. Take it off. Come on. Don't poke the bear in the zoo. Whip it out. <laughs> Finally get to share your lonely bed with the one you love. Life just doesn't get any better. Oh, God. Oh, baby. <laughs> that was not me. Stop. Stop it. Come on. That's the first time you... That was your first fart. Come here, baby. That was your first fart. You do love me. <laughs> Don't blame it on me. It's <laughs> so cute. You're embarrassed. Come here. Come here. No woman has ever farted in front of me before. Under the light of the moon, Mother Earth will fall asleep so soon. Dream of many a thing before she'll slowly wake up and then we'll do it for the morning train. Cause the alarm clock overslept again. And when the day is done, the battle's won. But she'll never know what's going on. Hi. 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 What? What? Why are you smiling at me like that? Because it's our one-year anniversary. You should be smiling, too. I guess so. Come here. Come on. No, come here. Come on, are you a grouchy little bunny? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be taking you someplace very special today. Where? Well, it's a surprise. Now, go fill me a tub, and I'll take you. Now, in the middle of the day? I'm feeling very, very dirty. I need a tub. Forget it. It's our anniversary. Could you just fill me a tub? Come on, you big grouch. Just go. My god, it's like pulling teeth with you to get anything. I don't know, we'll make stew, I figured. <laughs> what are they doing in there? What do you do? They like you, obviously. This one's Louie, this one's Murray, this one's Steve, and this one is Mordechai. I got it from the Chinese restaurant. Hi, Mommy. Hello. Aren't I cute? Hi. You're my new mommy now. But the other 13 guys you slept with think it's your litter. Cute little kitty's like, this did they. I'm pregnant. You're, really? I took the little stick test this morning and it turned pink. Pink? Is it, isn't it supposed to be like a plus sign? Believe it or not, Adam, I know how to pee on the stick and read directions. Oh, well, I thought we were being safe. Yeah, I guess not safe enough. We hardly know each other. And we know each other. I, d I just don't know if I'm ready to be a mother, Adam. I'm too confused, too immature, too messy. Well, what about abortion? Did you ever think about that? 
possibility. I, I just, I never thought this would happen to me. I, I don't know what to do. Okay, baby, yeah, come here. Shh, shh. Don't worry, okay? A lot of people think this is the world's greatest anniversary present. Really? What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. I think that our baby would be the cutest little thing that ever walked around in poop pants. You would be scared. Of what? Of doing the most natural thing in the world. Of bringing a gorgeous little brilliant little genius into the world? No. No, I wouldn't be scared at all. What if it wasn't a gorgeous genius? What if it was an ugly little troll? Well, I guess we just have to pray to God that the baby takes after me. <laughs> well, we can name it Ned, right? After my grandfather. What if it's a little girl? Nadina, we call it. Now, this one needs to be changed. I want you to practice and show me what a good mom you're going to be. <laughs> God, my stomach is huge. I look like Buddha. That hasn't changed. You're the same as you've always been. So what was it, a Buddha gut? You calm down, you've been pregnant a month. The baby's the size of a sea monkey. Pretty soon you're gonna get swallowed a Volkswagen. Yeah, well you have an abnormally large head. Come on, horse face, get over here. Come on. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Ned says he wants a womb with a view. That's not very funny. Well, Ned's just a fetus. We should cut Ned a little slack. And I think you're more beautiful than ever. Forget what you don't have. Forget that you don't Kate? Just forget it Kate? Forget Kate? that you're afraid Forget that you are Kate? You okay, baby? <laughs> okay? Forget that you're alone What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Possible to love the same person forever? Sure, don't you? I don't know. I haven't seen a relationship that didn't end in one way or another. What about your parents? They've been together 35 years. Yeah, they've lived in the same house for that long. I don't think they've said I love you for at least 20 of those years. Well, maybe that's human nature. You spend that much time around a person saying I love you is probably just like saying your cheese sandwich. I hope not. Katie? Mm hmm? My cheese sandwich, you. My cheese sandwich, you too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the longer you're with the same person, the more annoying they'll become. You'll become annoying too. So if you want everything to be perfect all the time, don't bother having a relationship. Did you see that little old lady? Yeah. Didn't she look sad and lonely? I don't know, she was hunched over and I get a good look. I need some shoes. Her eyes were so hollow. She's old, all old people have hollow eyes, especially old women. What? Are we on here? Wait, what do you mean, especially old women? It's a fact, women don't age as well as men. 
How could you say that? How many 50-year-old women do you see with 20-year-old guys? That's a societal double standard. That's got nothing to do with that. Who looks better, Sean Connery or Shelley Winters? Oh. It's just nature. Men have thicker skin, that's why women wrinkle more. Shut up. I know what this is about. You're a woman, you're afraid of becoming obsolete. You get in an age where men are starting to notice younger girls, it's freaking you out. Yeah, well, you're going bold. I have the keys. Where are you going? I got one. What do you have? Uh, just this one about topless female ninjas. Oh, well, let's just get one, okay? Because we'll forget to return them, and it'll be like $800 for two movies. And uh, which one do you want to get? Nosferatu. Now, you've seen it 50 times, and every time you see it, you get depressed. I like being depressed. It makes me feel deep and introspective. Yeah, could we just, you, you want to just hear what this uh, is about? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe you might like it. Mm -hmm. Nasty naked ninjets infiltrate the mob and take over Little Italy, nunchucking their way to Mafio Don Guido Mantucci. Wow, that sounds incredible. Why do you have to come from that place? Uh, you know what I mean? You think I want to go home and snuggle and, 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 and read subtitles and watch in black and white? Can sucks we ever go to a goddamn there. video store without getting into an argument? Not as long as you have such shitty taste in movies. I don't have shitty taste in movies. How can you not appreciate German Expressionism? I love German Expressionism. Right. What I don't like is what you turn into when you watch that damn movie. If you start getting all fixated on death, like, I'm gonna die, you're gonna die, the cat's gonna die, everybody's gonna Fuck, die. Fine, fine. You watch your stupid titty movie, I'll watch my death movie. Don't turn yours, don't turn mine. Fine. So it's her birthday. One of these should be free. Romance. The most important part of keeping a good relationship going. Be sure to treasure each one of those intimate moments you share together in bed. We haven't had sex in a while. Hmm? So we haven't had sex in like three weeks. Mm-hmm. You're not even listening to me. No, I wasn't. I said we haven't had sex in like three weeks. Well, maybe it's because you clip your toenails in our bed. What's the real reason? I don't know. Do you want to have sex right now? No. No, do you? No. Nah. Is there something wrong with us? I don't know. Maybe we should force ourselves. What, like mutual rape? Yeah, it might turn us on. Hmm. Too. Don't do that. You know how much that bugs me. I said don't. Swear to God, you do that one more time, I'm, I'm gonna scream. It's over. Us, I think we're done. What are you saying? I think I need to break up. What did you just say? I said I think we should break up. No, 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 no. You said you need to break up. What's the difference? There's a huge difference. I mean, saying we should break up, that implies that it's somewhat mutual. If you need to break up, that means you're ending it. Are you ending it? I don't know. Yeah. I guess so. Have you met someone else, Mark Groupie? No, no. No, nothing like that. It's just I, I feel like we're just turning into this old married couple. Oh, God. It's the 13 guy thing, isn't it? No. No, no, that's just what it is. I mean, no. You've been obsessed with my past since our first date. Now you want to start racking him up, don't you? you? Make it all Shut up even. about that. It's not the 13 guys, OK? I'm over that. I've dealt with that. It's a non-issue, I promise you. Well, then why? Why now? 
I don't know. It's just I've never been single. You know, I've spent my whole life going from one relationship to another, and uh, I've never been alone. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you realize what this means? What, what does this mean? It means this is at the end. That once it's over, it's over. Yeah, I guess so. But, but I mean, it's not like we won't still be friends, you know? Who said anything about being friends? Come on, woman, we love each other. I don't want to lose you for my life. No, I think you should know that when you get to number 13, I won't be sitting here waiting for you, okay? Well, you give that up. It's not about that, okay? This thing isn't working for either of us. I mean, you're, you're not happy, are you? No, I'm not okay, happy. Okay, so neither of us are happy. No, you know what? You're right, I'm miserable. You know, I've been Could in you stop, absolute honey, stop. fucking hell for a really That's long time now. That's my laundry Regina now. Regina would be the best thing in the world for me. You know what? <laughs> I feel good. No, I feel great. Come back <laughs> I to mean, bed. Just... Already, it's like a, a, a five million pound weight has been lifted off my head. I can't this wait. I can breathe. I, I can Could think. You... Just... Like, all of a sudden, life is clear. It's amazing. I am so happy. <laughs> when I look back at the love I had with Adam, I see a pathetic potted plant that nobody bothered to water. It started out green and lush and eventually became a dried up little brown stick. Breaking up is like dying, slowly, with nobody around. That's why it's so important during that dark period to keep yourself busy doing the things that don't depress you. This is my friend, Peaches. Hmm. This must be the friend that you just broke up with. And this must be the friend that you just started fucking! Yeah. When I do, I'll call you. Honey, that could take days. Okay, let's see here. No, no. Ooh, that's hideous. Oh, here you go. Okay, how about this? No, that makes me look like a drug addicted hooker. I want to look great, like a drug addicted model. I don't see what the big deal is. It's only Sam's birthday party. Well, Adam's going to be there. Okay, aren't you over him yet? Of course I am. I just want him to die a thousand deaths when he sees me with Jerome Davis tonight. Jerome Davis? Wait a minute. The perverted basketball player you dated who was obsessed with your ass? He was? Kay, you've got a great ass. I mean, now you're a big woman, but your ass you no know, small and compact to fit your size. And yet, we would take your ass and put it on your short little friend over here. God, we fucking huge. <laughs> That's it, I'm gone. Oh, God.
Hey! I thought it was you. Hey! Hey! Hi! It's great. I expect to see you here. I didn't even know that Sam invited you. I feel silly. Uh, yeah. no, Mary invited me. Mary, yeah, because you know, <laughs> of course, I don't know what I was thinking. That's great. That's so that's good. So good. It's nice to see you. Hi. It's good. Uh, I, I haven't seen you in a while. I missed you. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time, huh? Yep. Yep, yep. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Adam. Oh, uh, uh, what's up, Ed? Jerome. Not Ad, it's Adam. As it was. Oh, hey, sure. hey, hey, why don't I uh, give you a call tomorrow? Don't okay? make this a weird thing. Hey, I'll call you tomorrow, okay? You give can me a call tell tomorrow. me all about your new Give girlfriend. me a call or page yeah. because my shit's blowing up now. Okay. I got... Oh, okay. Yeah, why don't you call me? Okay, well. Just call me up there. I'm, yeah, I'm running around a lot, just, you know, I'll but Star 82, so I know it's you because I'm screening, you know. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that was really weird. I know, that night. was really weird. It's not cool, okay? Yeah. So you're in love? I think I should be asking you that question. Why should you ask me that question? Because you couldn't keep your tongue out of Lolita's mouth last night. Don't tell me about tongues, or I look like Michael Jordan was going to suck the tonsils out of your throat. Where'd you find that guy anyway? You know, let's just I'm not get into I one of these I, things, I don't okay? want you. You're the one who's bringing it up, okay? okay. I'm ready to be mature. Uh, me too. Okay? But how can you go with the freak of nature? How did you grow with such a bimbo? Savannah is not a bimbo. She happens to play the harp. Oh, oh I, excuse me, a bimbo savant. Yeah, at least I'm not having a fucking hot tub party with Dennis Rodman. I can't believe you're jealous. I'm not jealous. Yeah, don't you are. Stop, okay? I don't like her. I don't love her. I just, I'm probably even going to see that girl again, oh. be honest. Oh. Hey. Hi. Hey, I was waiting for you no, across the street. It's supposed to be noon, right? Hey. was supposed to be... Well, my harp lesson ended early, so um, I bought myself some new underwear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Savannah. Kate. I know. Adam told me all about you last night. Really? Uh, Savannah, why don't you um, why don't you go back to the coffee shop and wait for me? I'll be there at noon. Oh. Okay, and go get me a mochaccino. No okay, great. No problem. Thanks. I'll let you two catch up. Nice meeting you, Cynthia. It's Kate. Oh, I meant Kate. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Noon. That didn't feel good. That felt really bad. I know. I'm sorry. No, no. Don't be. I mean, it's the kind of thing we have to get used to, you know? I have to go and throw up now. Don't, uh, Kate. Okay, I miss you so much. All right? You're, you're, you're my best friend. I, you're I the one I feel normal around. I just... I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. It's just, hopefully, over time, we'll... So this is all gonna work out. Yes, 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 I promise it will. We just have to let go of those old, you know, feelings we have for each other. Bye. Okay. Okay. So this Jerome guy, would, would he have like, was he just like huge? I just wanna know, like as a friend. Is that bad for a friend? Was it like, was it like, Oh, nice surprise, Big, or was it like, <laughs> you better just take me home now, Big? <laughs> was it like I'm in over my head? Was it I'm in over my head, Big? As you move on in your search for love, sex is the fastest way to erase the past. I've had in months and it's with you. 
Being single again may be difficult, but it can also be empowering. After my breakup, I got out of the house as often as I could, going to places that took my mind off my loneliness. <clears throat> Excuse me? I'm looking for sort of a, a joke gift for a friend of mine's birthday. What's the kinkiest stuff you have? Depends. You mean kinky up the butt kind of kinky or just white bread kinky? Just white bread kinky, please. Dildo out. Thank you. It's a butt plug. Some guys like to put it up their butts. <laughs> right, thanks. Right. So, um, what's a nice girl like you doing at Earl's Pornorama? I'm here uh, to buy a joke gift for a friend of mine, okay? I'm not here to talk to uh, guys in trench coats. Why are you so nervous? Are you attracted to me? Oh, God, that is so arrogant. I, I just happen to be a little uncomfortable because I'm picking up plastic dicks with some guy. Wait a minute. Don't I know you? Could be. Oh, God. <laughs> aren't you that guy? Uh, aren't you in movies with, like, uh, topless ninja girls? Yeah, yeah, I've done a lot since then, though. That was some of my earlier stuff. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Joey Santino. I know. <laughs> my, um, my ex-boyfriend forced me to watch all your movies. Forced you to? Yeah, well, he, he loves you. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Well, not after we fall in love, you won't. Oh, no. I don't date actors. <laughs> Joey wasn't very bright, but I loved his innocence. I was going through my non-judgmental phase, and I didn't want to push people away for saying the occasional stupid thing. I love you. <laughs> We've only known each other for 14 hours. I know. I loved you in the first hour, but I waited 13 more to tell you. No, you just think you're in love with me because we've been having sex nonstop. How can you be so cynical? I mean, I I've never felt this way in my entire life. You're the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me. You see, this is why I don't date actors. And you don't have to say you love me back, because I just want you to know how I feel. That's all. OK. Unless you want to. I mean, I don't want to stop you from saying that you love me if, uh, if you want to. OK. I like you a lot, though. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's me. Oh, hey, Adam, what's up? Nothing much. I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. You want to grab some dinner tomorrow night? Oh, well, that's so sweet, but I can't. I'm going out. Oh, what about Friday? You want to you see a movie on Friday? No, I can't. I'm going to Malibu for the weekend. Malibu? What's in Malibu? A big beach. Oh, yes, I saw that in the Thomas Guide once. Who are you going with? Just some guy you don't know. Him. He's got a house out there. Oh, you like him? with all the questions. No reason. I just want to know if you like this rich Malibu guy is all. Yeah, I like him. 
You like him a lot? You love him? I think so, yeah. I mean, we've been spending almost every day together for the last couple of weeks. It's great. It's great for you. You know what? Uh, I gotta run, because I got a date with a, with an actress. <laughs> you know? Okay. I'll call you when I get back and we'll have lunch or something. Sure. Great. I can't take it. I can't. I can't take it. Get, get I can't. I can't. I just. I thought. You know. I, I just. I, I. thought I was over you. I thought I was done. I was. I, oh God. This is horrible. Oh God. Just don't, please, don't, don't, just don't go to Malibu. Please. Please don't go to Malibu. Are you out of your mind? This is a joke, right? This is not a joke. This is. This is. This is not. What's wrong with you? You've been dating women nonstop since we broke up. And I know. This is the first guy I've even gotten close to in an entire I know. year. I was wrong. What can I say? I was wrong. I was silly. I was stupid. I was wrong. I didn't know how I felt about you until tonight, until right now. What happened to the date with the actress? She's canceled. It's over. God, he shouldn't have, because Joey's on his way. Joey? His name is Joe. You're, how could you date a guy named Joey? Please don't date him anymore. Let's get back together again. I love you. Let's have babies. Would you stop acting like an insane person? Why don't you go home and relax I love or something? You. Let's no, get go back on together. your date. You'll you'll be be you'll just, it's just some weird I'll, thing. You know what? I'll go. Through. Just, just, just tell, could you tell me one thing? What? What's his last name? Just what? Just tell me his last name. Um, Santino. Oh, Santino. That's that's like Joey's. Not Joey Santino, the actor. My the titty ninja. You fucking hate him! Actually, he's he's really a very good actor. I mean, clearly you haven't seen any of his later work. The fuck are you talking about his later work? Motherfucker, you haven't seen... Oh, my God, you're kidding me. How could you... He's... You, you, how do you... Adam, you have to go. You weren't supposed to fall in love. Oh, quit being such a hypocrite. A hip? I'm not a... I'm a guy. I fuck. I don't fall in love. Well, maybe you don't. Oh, you think Mr. Italian... Uh... Fucking, uh, yeah, he's fucking you, he loves you? I don't think so. Whatever. You know what, I'm fucking out of here, all right? Fucking horseshit. Don't fucking call! <laughs> Miss Kate Wells. Yeah. I have a message for you from Adam Levy. Even though we're only pals, only pals, only pals, I don't like the other gals. You're my baby. Don't go out with that dumb guy, that dumb guy, that dumb guy. If you do, I'll start to cry. You're my baby. Yeah. Mr. Levy would like you to have an autographed picture of himself and this. Hold on, it gets better. Cheese sandwich. Thank you. Hello. What do you think? You got my picture up? Adam? Next to the boys? Yes, I got the sandwich and I got your picture. Can you just stop torturing me? Come over. Get rid of him. We'll, we'll spork, we'll spoon, we'll do it all. Lay around like walruses all day. Adam? What are you wearing? God, it's beautiful here.
Are you talking to me? You talking to me? Well, there's nobody else. Are you talking to me? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Huh? <laughs> De Niro! Right. <laughs> De Niro, you best. I swear I love these. De Niro. Yeah, I mean, he's a good actor. <laughs> good. <laughs> Are you good? We were talking about Robert De Niro here. Good. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's easy. It's easy. You know, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, they're good, you know? Asparagus is good. De Niro, he's not. I mean, like, Cape Fear. Oh, counselor. Come out, come out, wherever you are. See, I know why trash piece of shit. I'm better than you all. See, I can outlearn you, I can outreach you, I can outthink you, and I can outphilosophize you. And I'm gonna outlast you. Uh huh? Huh? That's good, right? And and and, and, and Raging Bull, which, which is the greatest performance of all time. <gasps> get me down, Ray. You get me down. Hey. All right. Huh? I know the Heimlich. Why are you trying to ruin my relationship? Your nose is so cute. You never tried to get me back before. What ego trip are you on? Can I kiss it? What? Your nose. Adam, stop screwing up my life. I'm involved with somebody else. Marry me? Please. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listen, I get it. Don't worry. I broke up with you because I was inexperienced. You were the third relationship I was in. How was I supposed to know that that was going to be the one? Adam. You had it so easy compared to me. I was number 14 for you. You were number three for me. Look, you, you can't. Just marry me. I, I, I'm sorry. I screwed up, all right? I can't live with this kind of mistake in my Don't life. Don't you see? This is really bad timing. You can't just wait until I'm, I'm heavily involved with somebody else to all of a sudden Propose marriage or profess your love to me. I'll change. How does that sound? You know what? We're going to make up a contract and everything you don't like about me, I'm going to change. So we're going to make a, a, a death penalty. You're against it. I'm for it. I'm against it now. We're going to go. We're going to sing Kumbaya. We're going to do candlelight vigils at the prison. I don't want you to change. You know what? You're right. I'm not going to change. I'm enough. And I learned that from you. You know what we're going to do? We're going to fly. We're going to take trips. I'm going to go to therapy. I'm going to get over my fear of airplanes. And we're going to go any place you want to go. Adam, gonna... stop it. Stop it right now. All right, well, let me just ask you then, just straight out, all kidding aside, Katie, will, will you marry me? No. Well, um, I, I, I won't torture you anymore then. I, uh, you know, you're happy, I'm, and I'm happy you're happy. Uh, I made you miserable and I'm sorry. No. No, but I just want you to know something, though. What? I, I, I can't be friends. I'm just, I'm too weak. Adam. I mean, I can't even be around you. I, I, you're sitting here, and you're like this incredibly juicy ham sandwich that I just want to stuff in my mouth, and I can't because, like, my, my lips are sewn shut. It's a pretty analogy. You know what I mean. Nice life. Don't say that. You know we'll see each other again. Yeah, right. Is infatuation love? No, but it feels like it is. All those chemicals pumping through your brain can turn every word he says into poetry. Did I ever tell you what I used to do to my little brother with dog shit? Mm -mm. Whenever he did something that I didn't like, I put dog shit under his pillow. I'd say, hey, Jimmy, let's play hide and go see. Go put your head under the pillow and count to 20. Mm. It's half the time you get to 10 before you realize what happened. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Jimmy? No, no. He's, a, he's the smartest one of us kids. He's a lawyer now. Hmm. Now do you remember me? Hmm? Relationships that are based entirely on sex end the minute the sex gets boring. 
So if you want it to last beyond boring sex, you'd better try to connect on a deeper level. I brought us some cheese sandwiches. Thanks. Do you think people can stay passionate about each other forever? Yeah. I mean, as long as they work on the relationship, you know, don't get fat. Yeah, I wonder. I'm not sure it's natural. I like to think it's possible, though. I mean, I, I, I think that over time, we all tend to take each other for granted. And after their years of staying together, saying, I love you is like saying cheese sandwich, you know? Do you know what Robert De Niro's lactose intolerant? After the infatuation chemicals in my brain stopped multiplying, I began to get over my non-judgmental phase. Joey and I were gonna have a real conversation if it was the last thing we did. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Are you listening to me? What? I'm gonna die. When? Someday. Yeah, uh, we're all gonna die, okay? Watch the movie. Doesn't that bother you? I don't think about stuff like that. Well, why not? Kate, look, we're, we're, we're in the middle of the movie. Yeah, well, that's when I think about death the most. I look at all these people staring straight into the darkness, and it freaks me out. Don't you get that? No, okay? I don't get that. I mean, why, why should I get that? I don't even want, I don't want to get that. Yeah, well, see, that's the problem. When two people are together, they're supposed to get each other. You don't get me, I don't get you. What? <sighs> what the fuck are you talking about? You know what my problem is? I'm a floater. I float through life like a, a corpse on a river bumping into rocks and logs. I don't choose my path. I just bump into stuff, like you. I bump into you in a porno store. Boom, I have sex with you. Boom, I'm in a relationship with you. Boom, I don't think I just boom. So no, 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 so, so that's what I am to you? I'm just some goddamn log you just bumped into at a porno store? You're wearing sunglasses in a movie theater. Their subscription. It's prescription, you idiot! Oh, okay. Mrs. Thesaurus, all right, I'm an idiot. You know, that's it. It's a, you know, hasta la vista, baby. Here's a man who would not take it anymore. You're all gonna die. Think about it. You're all gonna die, and nobody will ever remember you because they'll all be dead too. Excuse me. Hi, this is Adam. I'm not home, so leave a message after the beep. Hi, um, it's me. Adam, are you there? Hello, Kate. Hi. I, I, I didn't want to call anybody else. Okay, are you, are, you, are you okay? No. What's wrong, baby? We broke up. Oh, God. I broke up with Joey. Oh, that's horrible. I'm such a failure. You're not a failure. I am. I'm a relationship leper. Not true. You have more relationship potential than anybody that I know. Fuck potential. Anyone can have potential. What are you kidding? Katie, your only problem is that you've had bad timing. Two people could be perfect for each other, and if the timing's wrong, it's never gonna work out for them. Bad timing's the reason that most normal people end up single. Normal people? Yeah, weirdos and creeps are single because they're weird and creepy, but people like us, you know, we're single because we're victims of bad timing. And so when did you have things all figured out? Since you fell in love, and I've had to lay in bed awake every night and wonder if I'd ever find anybody who I feel as normal with as I do with you. ever right, you just let me know, okay? Okay. How about now you think you're ready? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Take as much time as you want. Love is ecstasy and agony. Freedom and imprisonment. Longing and loneliness. It's what 
keeps us together when life tears us apart. So, when you find that perfect man, hold on tight. And then call me so I can run over there and see what he looks like and laugh because he doesn't exist, you sad, perky little optimistic suckers. I quit. I, I, I couldn't do the assignment. I felt like a fraud since my first day here. Everything I've written has been crap. And I, I'm, I'm a total sellout. I can't do it anymore. And I'm, I'm, you know, honestly, I'm sorry if I've caused you any problems, all right? Wait a minute. She's way too fat. Everything you've written here has been bullshit? Yep. And nothing has had even a single grain of truth in your eyes? Nothing. So then what you're saying is that your research on blowjobs being able to cure depression was completely made up? No, actually, that one was true. But it only works for the sucky. The sucker always stays depressed. I told you that. Hi. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm no, here. No, uh, actually, uh, could I ask you a few questions? Is that okay? Um, uh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> no. Do you have any children you haven't told anyone about? No. Do you feel the need to sow your wild oats and have sex with a lot of different women? No. Are you a liar? Yes. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You got a sense of humor. That was my next question. Uh, can you listen? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you, see, you see how I... No, you get it. Just one more, I promise. Uh, do you have a problem with complicated women? Nope. Great, let's go. Um, may, I, may I ask you one question? Oh, of course, I'm sorry. Ask anything you want. Have you allowed Jesus Christ into your heart? Oh, God! If I could have one moment of your time. No. Get uh, out. May I? May I? No! Okay, but if the next knock is the devil. Go! Yes. Hi. Oh, oh. Hey, listen. Hi. Have you allowed. Hey, go! Now! Thank you. Hi. Are you Kate Wells? Yeah, and you're um, Rob, right? That's right. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Hi. Hi, hi. Thanks, thanks for coming down. Yeah, Thank thanks you. a lot. You're good. Thank you. Thank you. And nasty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like my men good and nasty. Thank you. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I do. She's on a date now, however. Yep. Blind date. I told him I was sick. Oh yeah, you're sick all right. Yeah, I'm wanting you back.
incredible. I am very proud of myself. <laughs> I did good, right? Did I do good? Yeah, you did right. Mm-hmm. It's different. I surprised you with a couple of those <laughs> things. I know it. You seem scared. Where'd you, you learn that? So I wanna know. We should break up more often. Mm. <laughs> we shouldn't. I love you, baby. Mm. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> so with Joey, what is that now? Sixteen? Oh shut up. Fifteen? <laughs> no, seriously. Fifteen. I was fourteen. What about peaches? Tell me about peaches. Oh god. No, I don't want to know about peaches. No, you do. No, I don't. Where do you think I learned that thing I did? People love you like a diamond in their hands. They don't know that diamond like I do. Put you up in the bluebird sky until they lose sight of you. People love you like a diamond in their hands. I always wanted to chase you down, and like many, I fell in love with you. chase you down carry me carry me 